happy day. I'm old. I'm very old. I'm actually going to be the oldest person ever alive. I should put my glasses on so I can see your little faces. Oh, that's much better. I'll stop using this voice. My name is Ariana James, and I'm going to be the oldest person who has ever lived in BitLife. I'm gonna take care of myself, and I've died many a time due to injuries I sustained from being a little hoodlum, so I'm not gonna do that. Today I'm gonna be a good girl. The best girl you've ever seen. My health is 100%, look at me. I'm wonderful. And I'm not gonna study, I'm just gonna live a really chill, cool life, and I'm gonna I'm gonna live hard, and I'm gonna live long. A boy from school named Eduardo Walker has asked you out. I'm gonna be very risk averse. He's not crazy. I'm gonna start dating him. Teen love. Ugh. I'm now dating Eduardo Walker. I've been dating him for a second. This is gonna be bad for my health. Eduardo, please. You have to stay with me, please, Eduardo, come on. But if I beg him to stay and he doesn't stay, then I'm gonna have some health problems. So I suppose I'll wish him well. That was the shortest relationship I've ever had. Might as well get my driver's license. Wheelies only, handicapped crossing, or handicapped parking. Now, I think this is handicapped parking. And I failed my driving test. Great. Well, you know what? That doesn't affect my health. Okay. A, a lot of people like me for some reason. I'm just trying to live my healthiest, happiest life. And all these guys keep coming in here. You can't stop thinking about a boy named Julian Vasquez when you should be paying attention in class. Oh. Oh. Do you think that he'll like me? I don't know. It's kind of a risky game. Uh, I'm gonna try. Ask him out. He called me a wench. Okay, that's not very good. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to the old movie theater. I'm gonna watch Stairway to the Stairs, everyone's favorite children film. Bravo. I graduated from high school. It's time to pick a major. Nursing, engineer. you know what? Since I am a giver of life to my si wait, am I gonna get sick being a nurse? I don't think so. I'm gonna apply for nursing. And I'm going to ask my parents to pay. And they agreed. Okay, my parents paid my tuition. I'm very happy, I'm very healthy. I'm gonna be a nurse. Graduated. Okay, so I, I have a graduated. I have a nursing degree now. And I'm going to look for a job as a nurse. An apprentice, a midwife. Midwives make dank money. I'm applying for that. Rejected. Okay, what about an apprentice midwife? Got the job. 73K a year? At 22 years old? This might be one of the best lives I've ever had. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the gym. Yeah, I'm broke. All right, well, it's free to meditate, isn't it? Um, 100% health, um. Some of your friends are going to the local casino. Will you join them? Um, do I have any, do 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 do, I, I've got 22K, let's go. Place your blackjack bets. Uh, okay, well surely a little gambling won't be bad for my health. Deal them, hit me. Oh, good. hit me. Okay, I'll stand. Oh, I won a thousand dollars! Well, I mean, I bet a hundred, I won five hundred. You, you know how it goes. I'm leaving the casino because I am a risk-averse child of the, the society we live in. We live in a society. I've been promoted to midwife. Oh, I officially make 85K a year. Okay, so my health is good. My happiness is good. My looks could be better. I'm going to go to the gym and I have great physique. I'm gonna keep aging up until my health and happiness go down and then I'm gonna start working on it. While returning a movie to Redbox, you find a money clip. What will you do? Keep it? It's mine now. Turn it in or leave it alone. I'm just gonna go ahead and steal this money. It's not like anyone's gonna come after me and I'm gonna go to jail, so I'm keeping it. Oh, and I have $119. I mean, I didn't really need $119. I got $197,000 in the bank, but that's fine. Terrible service. You went out to eat at an Empire Diner with your friend Sunny and your server is bothering you. What'll you do? I'm gonna pay leave and not return. Hmm. I'm gonna turn up my classy nose and never come back again. I'm 31 years old, guys. 32 years old. I'm making my way downtown. I'm walking fast, spending time with my father. Actually, I learned that giving money to people is quite good, so I'm gonna give everybody money to make sure that my relationships are very strong because I don't want to deal with a situation where I'm sad all the time because sadness is bad for your health. I'm suffering from the common cold. There's no way I'm letting this cold take me down. I'm going to a medical doctor, Dr. Vinnie Cross, and I'm treating the common cold for $76. I'm no longer suffering from the common cold. Perfect. I'm in perfect health. Everything is going I'm starting to suspect that my father is experiencing dementia. 
We've got diseases in the family, no! Dad! Let's talk! You and your father had a conversation about whether or not a grown man should wear a jersey with another man's name on it. I mean, why not, Dad? OJ, your supervisor at the Detroit General Hospital, is sponsoring a team-building activity by taking the team to the movies. It's taking the whole team, there's no risk here. I, I don't think that anyone's gonna think that I'm the favorite or that I'm trying to date him. I'm just really not trying to do anything of that sort right now. If it's a team thing, yes, I will go. While taking out the trash, you encounter an eagle! The forces of nature are trying to kill me right now. Like, I thought it was gonna be disease. I thought it was gonna be like someone assaulting me, but it's an eagle that's flying and going, ah! I know what you're trying to do. I know you're trying to be healthy, but guess what? I'm not gonna try to rescue it. I'm not gonna pet it. Will retreating slowly help me? It's a bird of prey, right? So like run, uh, I feel like a rabbit walking away from it slowly isn't gonna save its life. So I'm gonna run for my life. Please don't hurt me. I evaded it. <gasps> oh, 38 years old, we're making, oh, our, our parents retired. Hey mom, how's it going? You want some money? There you go, you happy? Oh, my parents love me. Spending time with my dad. We went to a hockey game. Why is my health only 98%? <gasps> Uh, I'm going to meditate. Yes, meditating went very well. Your friends are on social media. I'm staying away because social media is bad for my brain. The last thing I need to see right now is an Instagram butt that's way bigger than my lack of Instagram butt and feel bad about it and like, I just don't want any negativity right now. I'm Ariana James. I'm sitting here with $400,000 in the bank. I've got so much going for me. I got stuck in an elevator with a stranger for four hours. Did they hurt me? Did they hurt me? Okay, it's fine, but my health is at 97 and my happiness is at 98, so I need to go to the gym and I'm happy and healthy. Ha <laughs> ha! I've received about 204 spam emails a day lately and I'm wondering if someone is out to get me! I think that I'm paranoid. I, I'm so, I'm only 43 years old. I'm only about halfway to where I need to be and I just, I really don't want anybody to hurt me. <gasps> no, food poisoning! While going out for a steak dinner at Fountainhead Restaurant, your T-bone comes out bloody. What'll you do? No, 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 no. I'm politely sending it back. I don't want food poisoning, please. My happiness, my health, everything that's dear to me is very dear to me, okay? So I'm gonna cheer myself up with a little comedy. Derailed, <laughs> funny one. Five stars. And once again, I am healthy and happy. 46, 47, four, no, ah, oh, ah. Oh. You saw someone call your mother a freak. What'll you do? I'm going to forgive her, and I'm gonna check up on my mom, make sure she's okay. Mom, are you okay? Here's a compliment. You're wise. I know that person called you a freak, but mama, you are very wise. Maybe I should have called her pretty or something, I don't know. Your mother told you that you're a legend! Oh, thank you! I'm gonna be so old that I'm going to be a living legend, so I really appreciate you supporting my dreams. Uh, father, let us spend time together. We went to Pilates. Mmm, healthy. My laptop was hacked and my accounts were compromised. This much negative stuff has never happened to me so much. And I don't like that my accounts are compromised. I injured my larynx while having- Who was I screwing? Okay, my happiness and my health are okay. What's a larynx? A larynx is another name for the bo- Oh, the- I think we all know what I was getting up to that day. But thankfully, it only took five weeks to heal and my happiness and my health is doing great. Just to make sure that I am on the right page with my health and everything, I'm going to see a psychiatrist and get a counseling session. Ah, mind over matter. Doing great. 53, oh, while trimming the bush, okay. <laughs> All right, you encounter a professional athlete giving you the stink eye. What'll you do? Maybe tell him to stop watching me while I'm trimming the bush? <gasps> My bush is none of your concern, Mr. Athlete. I am ignoring him. <gasps> Oh, every single time something pops up, I'm like, oh no, am I gonna die? Your father wants to take you to the rodeo. I don't see any problem with going to the rodeo with my father. Of course I will. I didn't like it one bit, but my dad did, and that's what's important to me. <gasps> my father passed away at 83. He died of natural causes. Okay, he didn't die of dementia. That means that I probably won't either. I'm attending his funeral. My happiness has gone down a lot, and I inherited a ton of money. Wow, this is like one of those games where I'm like not like making money isn't the goal and I just like I'm in the money Sometimes that's just how life works. I still live with my parent. Maybe I need space like I need air I need to start my new life in a nice safe Million dollar home. I'm 50 years old and I'm moving out for the first time. Okay. I've lived a very 
risk averse life, but now is the time to get the elegant, oh, the condition of this one is just awful. What about Tweety and Sado? Why are the conditions of these houses so bad? Usually the million dollar house, okay, I'm gonna buy a million dollar house next year. Oh, my happiness is still bad. Hello, somebody make me laugh. I meditated. I went to the gym, worked out, seems to be going well for me. <gasps> the En Vogue Modern Home. Okay, so I wanted a very expensive house, but since I'm just, you know, being true to myself and living my best, healthiest life, I'm gonna buy a nice, cheap home. Though I must warn you, my life has been so boring that I'm a little afraid that I might be having a uh, <coughs> midlife crisis. Mom! <coughs> my mom! <coughs> Mommy, no! Okay, I'm attending her funeral. I inherited 800k, but it doesn't mean anything. I'm starting to go crazy. Nothing good is happening in my life. I'm just going to the meditation. Uh-huh, feeling a little sleepy. I'm just going to the gym. Just taking care of myself. Uh, might as well go to the library because I'm the most boring person there ever was. And how about a little movie, huh? This is the only thing that I do. Oh, I've barely had a date. I've barely lived my life. My sink broke and flooded everything. <gasps> okay. <sighs> I think it's time to throw a house party. I know that this is against everything that I believe in, but I need to have some fun. 19 guests came to the party at your house at the En Vogue Modern Home. Everyone had a great time. Sometimes you can just take a little risk every now and again. And I'm really glad I did, okay? My health and my happiness are j they're just mwah, they're just perfect. They're just perfect. Maybe I should work a little harder too. <gasps> no. I can't work too hard, because if I do, then my health and happiness will go down. 63 years old. Oh, a fellow you met on your way to the shooting range. Shooting range? I don't recall ever allowing you to go to the shooting range. Okay, so he's asked me on a date. He is retired, he's an analyst, and he's got some money. I mean, Dave and Harder, this guy better love me till my death. He better love me until he dies at least, because I'm totally outliving him. Maybe I'll live longer if I have a little boo. A little bobo. Start dating him. I'm going to compliment him. I told him that I thought he's the top dog. Okay, I don't really have all that much experience dating. Your boyfriend called you a treasure. <gasps> Could this be the man of my dreams? Now, also to, uh, you know, kind of boost everything up a bit, I just want to make sure that he feels taken care of. I'm giving him $100,000. There we go. He kind of appreciated it. Not as much as everybody else usually appreciates this kind of thing. Let's go to the movies. Taking him to the theater. We both kind of halfway enjoyed it. 65 and Devin, look, hey, so this, this Davin guy, like, he's not very, not very easy to please. Let's, let's go to parkour hardcore. Did you enjoy yourself, Davin? Do you like me all the way now? Almost. Wow, this guy is very tough. And, but hey, you know what they say, hard things take time. I'm officially kind of getting old. Maybe this Davin guy has, like, lived the same life as me and he just isn't really impressed by all of this normal stuff that I keep throwing at him. Maybe I gotta throw him a little curveball. Listen, Davin, it's time for us to compliment. He's hilarious. He didn't compliment me back? All right, that's fine. I, I don't, you know what? I don't, I don't care. I'm not going crazy at all because of this. I'm gonna go see a comedy. As he lands underwear drawer. I really enjoyed that one. <laughs> What's Azzy doing in the future? All right, Azzy, that's fine. Hopefully my uh, husband didn't like that one too much. Your supervisor at the hospital has taken a liking to you and asks you to go play tennis with him. You're worried that it'll make your coworkers jealous. Well, guess what? I am politely declining because I have $1.4 million to my name and I don't need my husband or my coworkers getting jealous. I'm 68 years old and I'm staying the course. Aliens, while walking through the cemetery, why do I keep, okay, I keep going to the shooting range, the cemetery, just like all these places that I should not be. I'm just flirting with death over here. While walking through the cemetery, a fanatic, crazy crossdresser runs up to you and asks if you believe in aliens. Without a doubt, get away from me or no way. Now I want to say get away from me, but what if he assaults me because I tell him to get away from me? Maybe I should just agree with him? But then what if he tries to like sell me on something? Oh no. I'm gonna, uh, I think the safest thing is just to be like, yes, and then walk away briskly. I told a crazy person I believe in aliens. He followed me home all the way from the cemetery, but I, I live in a nice expensive home and I locked the door. I think I need to meditate because my anxiety from him, the picturing him coming over, it's driving me a little wild. Davin, protect me. I'm gonna give you compliments. I told him that I think he's a 68 year old pimp daddy and he liked it. 
Davin, do you want to spend time together? We we did some gardening. We're old together and we like to do the gardening and stuff. Oh, your boyfriend Davin asked you to marry him. We've been together for seven years. I'm accepting his proposal. I love you, Davin. I love and I'm so happy. Am I though? My happiness and health went down by 1%. Okay, we're good now though. My looks are going down, but hey, 38% is pretty good for 72 years old, so I'm happy about that. And my smart, like, I've, got, I've officially got a brain. I'm wise now. Feels good, man. Bourbon. One day you find a flask of bourbon in your desk with a note that says, make today great. What will you do? Make today great once we get, okay, do I want an alcohol addiction? I think not. They say a glass of wine every night isn't bad for you. In fact, my grandma drank a glass of wine every single night and she lived to be 104. So should I drink the bourbon? No, I'm scared. I'm so scared of risk. I've been doing so good. No, I'm throwing it in the trash. I said no to bourbon. Who put that bourbon in my house? Davin, is there something you're not telling me? Here, I'll give you a compliment. I told him he's legendary and he didn't care. He called me nifty. Thanks, Davin. He probably didn't mean it. I, I feel like my compliments are kind of wearing thin on, on old Davin. <gasps> Your fiance, Davin, is demanding, demanding you get married and you've been engaged for six years. What'll you do? Let's plan the wedding. Let's have the wedding on the beach and let's have the honeymoon in Athens, Greece. That would be great. That's a very cheap wedding. Let's edit the plan. How about Munich, Germany? 7K, let's do it. You're thinking about whether you should make your fiance Davin sign a prenuptial agreement before marrying him. What'll you do? I don't think we need a prenup. My net worth is 3 million and his is only 776K, but I'm living the good life, I'm living the long life, and I don't want him to think that I don't trust him. I'm the biggest pushover there ever was, but we don't need a prenup. What if he's a gold digger? Oh, I mean, I'm still gonna survive. We don't need a prenup. You married Davin Harder on the beach and you went to Munich, Germany for your honeymoon. Now that you're married, you're wondering, well, okay, so there's no prenup, so I might as well take his last name. All the way. My name is now Miss Harter. Although I'm 78 years old, I can't really remember what my name was to begin with. 80 years old? We're making it! I had a nightmare that I peed my pants in public at 81 years old. You know, these kinds of things, they happen to the best of us. Bloody Mary. Why does these alcohol things keep keep coming over here? While at an airport bar, a good looking bartender offers you a Bloody Mary. Now I am very risk averse, but I can't say no to a good looking bartender. I'll sip on it. I started drinking Bloody Marys. Ooh, boy, okay. Well, oh, my health just went down from that. I can't take a single risk, I swear. There's V8 vegetable juice in it, so it can't be that bad for me. You've been offered scissor. I'm 80! Stop offering me drugs! I say no to those drugs! Uh, Davin, how are you doing? Uh, I love you. He says, that's nice. I was like, you're put together. And he was like, that's nice. Oh, he called me legit. All right, I'll take it. Davin and I have been married for 10 years. My health is going down the crapper. I feel like I need to switch from going to the gym to just meditating now, because I don't want to hurt myself. I'm suffering from the flu. No, 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 no. I'm really old. My immune system's really bad. I can't have the flu. Take. I can't let the flu be the thing that shuts me down. Vinny Cross, you've never done me wrong. I will pay $153. Please treat me. I'm no longer suffering from the flu. <sighs> Thank you. Your best friend Tiffany confessed to you that she is cheating in her relationship. What'll you do? I'm gonna offer her my support. What does that mean? Does that mean like helping her come clean? Or does that mean being like, yeah, dude, yeah, get get it, get it, I support you. Who is Tiffany? I've never, I don't think I've ever met Tiffany. <gasps> Dementia? No, I hope, I hope not. I'm just gonna offer her my support. Or I can't report her or unfriend her. That won't be good for my health. Tiffany, thank you for your unconditional support. Okay, so I support cheaters. Great. I stayed up for 52 hours straight due to insomnia. I feel like the doctor isn't going to want to treat me for this. I'm not suffering from any health conditions. Maybe I need to, I don't know, meditate? This is like always the answer that I have for everything. 92? On your way to the dentist, you come across a backpack filled with what appears to be acid. What will you do? Pretend like I didn't see it, turn it into the authorities, sell it, or consume all of it. Oh, whoa. Okay, so is grandma going on a trip? No, 
She can't. Grandma is staying alive for the rest of her life. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's how it works. Just, she's living a good life. She's turning it into the authorities. You turned the backpack of acid into the authorities. The cops were high for weeks. <gasps> Someone called me a fatty! Forgive her. My happiness went down. Help. I'm gonna go see a comedy. I went to see Mr. Harvey Goes to Philadelphia. It wasn't exactly as good as, uh, as he lands underwear drawer, but it was something. I'm 96 years old and I still have a job, but I can't quit, because you know what they say. When you quit and once you retire, that's when you die, so I'm not gonna do that. Davin and I have been married for 20 years. What a lovely marriage. Oh my god, my husband wants me to buy a car. I'll shop for cars. You're unable to go shopping for cars. Does he like me less for- he likes me less for that. Wow, so this love really isn't unconditional. I guess I'll get my license at 99 years old. What does this road sign mean? Tractors only? Farm machinery crossing or wild farmers? I think maybe wild farmers. No, I'm gonna go with farm machinery crossing. Ah. Uh, now, I'm gonna buy a car for my stupid, ungrateful husband. How about a Mercedes-Benz S-Class? I'm gonna buy it with cash. Great, got my first car at 98 years old. What is with all of these offerings of vodka? Can't I be old in peace? At the company holiday party, a coworker tells you that eggnog has been spiked with vodka. Will you drink it? Where's the ladle? I'll just have a soft drink. I almost feel like the soft drink is probably more unhealthy for me, like all the sugar, but I'll just have the soft drink anyway. While on a hike in the mountains, you witness a dumb blonde fishing without a license. What will you do? I'm gonna call the police. I don't know how I know that she doesn't have a license, but I, I'm reporting her to the police because I'm an old woman and that's what old women do. I am 101 years old and I need to fix my relationship with my husband because he just never really loved me. Here, take 33 grand and shut up. Hey, he appreciated it. Great. Oh, my Mercedes broke. Repairing it. It's back in service. Yay. I knew I shouldn't have bought a used car. 104 years old! I forgot to have a house party for 100 years old, so I'm going to have one for 104 years old, and I'm sure everyone's gonna come. I'm old. Gotta celebrate. Throw a house party. 28 guests came to your party. One of your guests overdosed on morphine! Take him to the hospital. Oh no, my happiness went down. Help! Help! Meditate. Maybe I'll go see a movie as well. A comedy. Okay, and my relationship, let's keep it strong. Keep it good. Wow, I just gave him money and now he already doesn't like me. This is so hard. Compliment him. I called him world class. And he didn't say anything in return, but he loves me, so got that going for me. My husband passed away at the age of 107. He died of tuberculosis, and hopefully he didn't give it to me. I mean, this man didn't really love me to begin with, but I guess I'll go to his funeral because I inherited $787,000. <gasps> My happiness is so bad! I'm a widow! This is the hard part of being old, is that you're a widow. Please, let's go see a comedy. Grandpa's unfiltered opinion. Ah, oh, reminds me of Davin. Wait, is that a good thing? It's a good thing, I enjoyed it. Maybe I need to find some love, I don't know. 80 plus, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much money he makes, I just wanna find somebody who loves me. Tom Lukes. The dating app is parody with a gentleman named Tom Lukes. He's a retired police officer. He's not good looking, he's not smart, doesn't have any money. And he's a little bit crazy. Uh, I'm gonna go with somebody who's not crazy at all because we're trying to be risk averse here. Everyone in my life is dead. Okay, uh. I, I can't with these crazy people. No Diego McClure. Okay, well, since I can't find somebody to love me, I'm gonna do what every old lady would do and I'm gonna go to the horse races. Let's go. I'm gonna go with two Kevins. I'm gonna go with poor sport. Place a bet. Poor sport. He's the one in the middle. Start the race. Come on, green! Yes, green! I come on! No, 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 no! Green! No, you're gonna lose! Oh, that didn't go too well. My happiness is <gasps> gone! Help! Please, I can't, I can't, I cannot, I can't get depressed. I cannot get depressed. I cannot get depressed. Please, 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 please. No, there's no new comedies. Let's see a documentary. Oh, there aren't any. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I can meditate again. My happiness is still zero. I've been diagnosed with depression! Maybe I should go to a therapist. Oh, I should have done that in the beginning. No. Psychiatrist, please. Counseling session. I'm still at zero. Uh, doctor, 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 please help. Please, Vinny. No. Help me, I'm dying. Isabella, ah! 
I got my happiness up a little bit. I, I need to do more. I need to go see a comedy. Yes. Okay, that that's helping. It's helping. We're, we're, we're going we're going back up. House party. House party! Boom. 33 guests came to the party at your house. The police showed up after your neighbors complained about the noise. What will you do? Apologize for the noise. The police gave you a warning. I'm so unhappy. I'm scared to age up because I don't want to die. I'll adopt a kid. Oh, it's been rejected because I'm 104. I guess I gotta meditate again. It's not doing anything. I gotta age up. Please don't die. Do not die. Do not die. Great. Now I can do everything to fix my life again. Meditate. Great. Library. Loved it. While at the library, you meet a fellow named Lil Monroe. He's a rapper from the 2000s. He's 67, he's a retired travel agent, he's not good looking, not smart, a little bit of money, and not very crazy. I thought he asked me out. If he turns me down, I'm gonna die. He's not my type. Comedy, please. Betsy Bush relocates to rural Florida. That's the perfect, and I enjoyed it. And you know, any movie with the name Betsy in it, I'm an old lady. I'm really into that kind of thing. Salon and spa. <gasps> I can take care of myself. Okay, so I'm gonna get my hair styled. I'm gonna get a cut and color. And it looks great. I'm going to get my nails done. I'm gonna get Maddie Petty. Oh, that made me very happy. I'm gonna get a massage. Oh, deep tissue. I'm gonna go for a shiatsu. I don't know what that is, but that sounds good. Hopefully it's not the one where they use their feet. I'm going to not get waxed, because that would be very scary. Should grandma get some extensions? Grandma's gonna get some extensions. Yes. Wow, this is the perfect way to get your happiness back. I'm no longer suffering from depression! Nothing is gonna stop this old, 108-year-old woman. I'm happy again. My looks are very bad, but I'm doing the best that I can do. I'm gonna practice meditation. I'm gonna go back to the spa because the gym is a little, it's a little crazy for me right now. So I'm just gonna get another massage. Should I get Thai? That sounds kind of sexy. Ah, so relaxing. I'm gonna get my nails done again. Another Manny Petty. Yay, and my looks went up. I love the spa. I'm impressed that the salon and spa will make me look better even at my ripe old age of 108. I'm not gonna go tanning because I don't wanna get skin cancer. Maybe I'll also get one of these too because I liked it last time. There we go. 110, I got the achievement! And I'm so healthy! This is going really well for me. My stomach has been particularly sore lately. Why? That's nothing a little massage can't cure. There, did you enjoy it? I've had these uh, extensions for like two years. I should probably get them replaced, hey? And also the, the stomach ache was just a bit of gas. I think I'm okay now. Cut and color, let's get that. Looking good. Again, oh, these repairs are getting really expensive. I'm gonna sell my car and get a better one. You. Get, oh, the condition is horrible. Selling that. How did I manage to get 4K for that? Should little granny get a little Lamborghini, huh? I'm gonna get a Tesla. Yeah. Some of your friends are still at this age sipping mojitos. No thank you, I will pass. I'm as happy and healthy as I need to be. <gasps> I'm suffering from pneumonia. No, doctor. No, 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 no. Can I go to the emergency room? I'm going to the emergency room. You were treated at the emergency room. It didn't really work. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go to the doctor. I'm gonna go to both of them. It's gonna cost me $400 to treat my pneumonia. Let's go, let's try. I'm no longer suffering from pneumonia. I'm gonna live forever! Okay, perfect. I ate some super spicy Cajun food and my butt paid the price for five days. Um, gonna meditate? Just like granny should. My smarts are through the roof. My looks are great for a 118 year old woman. <gasps> oh no, I'm an old woman and missionaries are coming to my door. The doorbell rings and you see a pair of missionaries preparing their speech through the peephole. What will you do? Tell them I'm not interested. Sign up for their church. Sneak away, no one's home or act insane and scare them off. What would be the worst thing that would happen if I signed up for their church? I'm a widow, right? Like I need a community. I need somewhere to go every Sunday. I need someone to tell me that everything's gonna be okay. I've lived such a lonely, isolated life. I'm gonna sign up for their church. Hopefully they don't take all my money, but I've got a lot of money to spare. I've got $2.2 million. Okay, my looks are going down. So the first thing I'm gonna do, we're going back to the spa. Cut and color, very good. It didn't make me happier. Weird. It must be kind of hard to find midwives. I still haven't retired. Oh, yeah, I'm still a midwife. I still have a job. I've been at my job for 97 years. Maybe I should retire. No, I can't. Gotta make it to 100 years at my job at least. 120th birthday! My sink broke and flooded everything. Whatever. <gasps> I died. From what? 
the sink? Complications of old age? Net worth seven million dollars. I thought I was gonna throw one more house party before I died. Oh, rest in peace, Ariana Harder. You must be the oldest woman who ever lived. A fastidious woman, she studied nursing in university, and Ariana was hired as a midwife and put in 99, I didn't even make it to 100, 99 hard years at Detroit General Hospital. She was known to throw wild house parties. I don't know about you guys, but I think I'm the oldest lady who ever lived. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you later if I don't die. Bye.